Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with FlashGameU.com, and in this next series of podcasts, I want to uh, do a complete game here, sort of like an extra mini-chapter to the book. Uh, this game is called Snake, and it's a fairly common game uh, that you see uh, where you control the head of a snake that grows as you eat food pellets. Let me show you. This is the final game here, and I'm controlling the yellowish dot, and I'm moving it around with the arrow keys. And as I eat food pellets, which are the only other thing on the screen, I grow in length one segment. And I'll go and eat one here, and I'll go to three, and then four. And I keep growing as I move around, and the food pellet relocates every time I eat it. Um, what will happen eventually is my tail grows so long that uh, we either have to collide with my own tail or collide with one of the walls, in which case the game is over. So it's a kind of a game of uh, re fast reflexes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is build this in several parts. Um, so we're going to start with snake1.as. We're actually going to change the document class of the FLA. The FLA only uh, has uh, just the uh, snake part and the food particle in it, just two circles. That's it. And I've declared those as being properties like snake part is the class for snake part and food is the property for food. We're not even going to deal with food in this first podcast. The uh, snake1 class uh, is going to start off pretty typically uh, with your typical um, declarations there. And then we're going to add timer uh, because we'll be doing something at a regular interval that is the snake moving. And we're also going to have a geometric point for positioning. Uh, we're going to start with some constants. The snake game takes place on the grid. Uh, the snake doesn't move completely fluidly. It moves one space every turn. So uh, we're going to make the grid size 20 by 20. Uh, we're going to set the speed to 200, which means we'll move once every uh, or five times a second, rather, um, 200 milliseconds. We're also going to have a starting point in the middle of the screen. And notice I've kept it in multiples of 20 here, uh, 260 by 180, so it fits it within that grid. Uh, I'm going to put everything in a, in a single sprite that I'll create, the game sprite. There'll be a game timer, which will be the regular interval for snake parts to move. And there'll be an array with snake parts. And in this first example, we won't actually be creating more than one part. But uh, we're going to be thinking ahead. We know eventually we're going to have to have an array of these snake parts as they follow each other around. This is the movement vector here. So snake move x set to 1 means it's moving to the right once every turn. Uh, if it was negative 1, it would move to the left. If instead snake move y was 1, it would be down. Negative 1 would be up. So we'll be changing that and keeping track of what direction the snake's moving. Uh, when we create the snake, uh, uh, the game, first thing we need to do is uh, create the game sprite and add it to the stage. So everything will be in that game sprite. We create a snake parts array, which we're only going to just create uh, the first snake part and set it to snake part here, which is the, the library element. Then we're going to go ahead and set its location to the start point constant. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put it onto that array. And we're going to then uh, add the first snake part to the game sprite so it's visible. Uh, we got two events that we have to keep track of. Well, one's an event, the keyboard listener. It's looking for key down. It's going to call key down function. And the other one is a timer that's going to basically uh, be every 200 milliseconds it is going to call move snake using this event here. And then we're going to start that timer. Okay, so the game itself uh, really just responds to key presses. Uh, the 37 is left and we'll set the snake to move to the left. Um, 39 is right, goes to the right. 38, we'll set snake move y to negative 1, meaning go up, and snake move y to 1 for down. So we have all four arrow keys taken care of. Then we go ahead here and we're just going to move the snake. This is the, the regular interval here. So every 200 milliseconds we move snake and we basically take the first item in the array, which is going to be the only item, and then we're going to move it, uh, the movement vector, times the grid size. So if the grid size is 20, like it is now, and the snake move x is 1, it will move 20 every 200 milliseconds. So if we run, we'll see it's exactly what it does. And I can go up, left, down, and I'm not error checking for anything. So I can go off the bottom of the screen and turn around and go back up the top. So that's a good start. We've got something moving. We've got a few things in place for later on. And in the next podcast, we'll look at uh, being able to add the tail and make sure that the snake does not, uh, does not leave the playing area. Uh, until then, this is Gary Rosenzweig with FlashGameU.com.